Ms. Christensen gave two of her history classes a test. The following table shows the scores from her classes. Find the mean absolute deviation of each. If the mat is similar for both, find the distance uh, between the centers. Actually, we don't care if it's similar or not. We're just going to find the distance no matter what. So the first thing we will need is the mean for both of these, which means also that we will need a total for both of these periods. So what are the totals? So for class number one, it would be 622 is the total, or the sum, I guess. And for sixth period, and it looks like we get 512. So now let's find the means for both of these. So for fifth period, we would take 622 and divide it by seven values. All right. Thank you. So there are our two means. Now we've got to find out how far each of these are away from the mean. So let's go ahead and list these values. So looking at fifth period, this is what we get. So what's the total for the fifth period when we add all of these? So that is the total for fifth period. And if we wanted the average of these, we just take 49.1 and divide it by seven, all seven values. And we find the MAD for fifth period to be 7, well, point zero actually. So I'm just going to round to the tenth. But let's do the same thing for sixth period. We're going to find the distance all these values are from the mean right here. All right, so in green we have all of these. Let's find the total of them. And it looks like we have a total for sixth period. Yeah, so let's go back. When we add all of these, we get a total of 84.9. Well, now we're just going to find the average of these, so we'll just divide that by all seven of these values right here. And that gives us, uh, what do we get out of that? Divide it by seven. That gives us a 12.1. And uh, Matt for the fifth period was seven. So if we wanted the distance between the two centers, all we're going to do is we're going to take the 12.1 minus 7, and that would give us 5.1.